some form or fashion the tax laws of the United States. That's pretty simple. And so that may be even legal, in which case we should definitely close it. But you have to question whether or not that is the essence of what we want as leadership. And so I'd like to hear you be more determinative of saying, yes, we're going to close all of those down if I can convince the president-elect to do so in Congress, because what you did may have been legal, but it certainly was to help people and entities avoid U.S. taxes. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm absolutely committed to work with you in your office, as I've said, on tax simplification and to cut down and make sure that we don't let anybody avoid taxes. In certain cases, this is not a function of avoiding taxes. It was to create eligible investments for certain nonprofits. But I agree with you completely. I'm on board with what you said. I'd be happy to work with your office to simplify the tax code. Whose investments were ultimately eligible, therefore, to avoid some taxes. Uh, I I again, it may, it may have been an eligibility issue and not a tax issue, but I, I agree with you that this does not make sense, and I will work with you in your office. I've committed to do that, to make sure that, you know, why people need to move entities from Anguilla to everywhere else. And again, we're, we're not creating jobs there. This is just where uh, these entities are housed. I, I, I agree with you, and, uh, you know, it will create a lot less work for the tax accountants and the lawyers, and make the American public uh, more money and move our IRS resources otherwise. So I agree with you completely, Senator. Your Thank you. Your time is up, Senator. Let me just say it's ironic and I think a bit hypocritical of my friends on the other side of the aisle to suddenly find found religion on offshore account holdings. Uh, evidently, memories are short. At least two of President Obama's nominees who now serve in his cabinet had Cayman Island holdings. Now, that includes the current Treasury Secretary, who also ran a business unit at Citigroup, a bailed-out megabank from which he received close to a million dollars in bonuses. Uh, that unit has been sanctioned by the SEC for selling toxic assets that, quote, harmed investors. Now, let me just say, with regard to the nominees' disclosures to the committee, I want to say this. As part of the committee's bipartisan vetting process, Mr. Mnuchin, in good faith, submitted answers to committee questionnaires and other materials that were later modified. Mr. Mnuchin's file is now complete, and to meet demands of some of my Democratic colleagues, the disclosures now include financial information that is usually kept confidential, such as the value of personal residences. The committee appreciates Mr. Mnuchin's efforts to work through the multiple and and complicated requests for information on what is, by any reasonable measure, an exhaustive vetting process. But I think it's, that, that, let's be fair here. Mr. Chairman, uh, just, just so we're clear, the bipartisan staff called